He is known for being a Spanish-American philosopher, essayist, poet, and novelist. He is recognized for his popular aphorisms, including, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it, and, only the dead have seen the end of war. His name is George Santayana. In the early 20th century, a philosopher by the name of George Santayana emerged onto the intellectual scene. Born in Spain, Santayana relocated to the United States at a young age and soon became a prominent figure in the world of philosophy and literature. With an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a unique perspective on life, Santayana captivated audiences with his profound insights. Throughout his career, Santayana delved into a variety of subjects, from metaphysics to aesthetics. However, it was his aphorisms that truly left a lasting impact on the world. One of his most famous quotes, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it, resonated deeply with people from all walks of life. In these few words, he encapsulated the importance of learning from history and the consequences of forgetting the lessons it teaches us. Despite his atheism, Santayana held a deep appreciation for his Spanish Catholic upbringing. This cultural background influenced his worldview and shaped his philosophical beliefs. He drew inspiration from the philosopher Spinoza, finding solace in the Dutch thinker's ideas and embracing a devoted Spinoza's perspective. As the years went by, Santayana's influence continued to grow, and his legacy as a philosopher, essayist, poet, and novelist remained firmly established. His ability to intertwine profound wisdom with a keen understanding of the human condition left an indelible mark on the world of philosophy and beyond. Santayana's work serves as a reminder that the past holds invaluable lessons for the present and that the pursuit of knowledge is a never-ending journey. George Santayana's early life was marked by a sense of separation and longing for connection. Born in Madrid in 1863, he spent his early childhood in Avila, Spain, with his mother Josefina Borras and his father Augustin Ruiz de Santayana. However, when Josefina decided to return to Boston with her three Sturgis children, she left George behind with his father. Separated from his mother and siblings, George longed for a sense of belonging and stability. His father, discontented with life in Boston, soon returned to Avila, leaving George to navigate his own path. It was during this time that George's first name was anglicized to George, reflecting his growing distance from his Spanish roots. Despite the physical separation from his family, George remained deeply connected to his Spanish heritage. He would later reflect on his early life, saying, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. This statement captures the longing for connection and the belief that our experiences shape who we become. George's longing for connection and understanding would go on to shape his philosophical journey. His early experiences of separation and displacement led him to explore questions of identity, belonging, and the search for meaning. It was through his contemplation of these existential themes that he would develop his unique philosophy. George Santayana's early life serves as a reminder of the importance of connection and understanding in our daily lives. It reminds us that our experiences, even the ones marked by separation and longing, have the power to shape our worldview and guide our search for meaning. By embracing our past and seeking to understand ourselves and others, we can navigate the complexities of life with greater wisdom and compassion. George Santayana, a philosopher known for his insightful perspectives on life and morality, embarked on a journey of education that shaped his understanding of the world. Born in 1863, Santayana attended the prestigious Boston Latin School before enrolling at Harvard College. It was at Harvard where he had the privilege of studying under renowned philosophers William James and Josiah Royce, who would greatly influence his thinking. During his time at Harvard, Santayana immersed himself in various intellectual pursuits. He was a founding member and president of the Philosophical Club, a platform for exchanging ideas and engaging in philosophical discourse. Additionally, he was an active member of the OK, a literary society, and contributed as an editor and cartoonist for the Harvard Lampoon. Santayana's passion for literature led him to co-found the literary journal, The Harvard Monthly. After graduating with highest honors in 1886, Santayana furthered his studies in Berlin for two years. Upon his return to Harvard, he delved into researching and writing his dissertation on Hermann Lotze, further deepening his understanding of philosophy. Santayana's dedication and scholarly pursuits eventually led to his appointment as a professor at Harvard in 1889, marking the beginning of a fruitful career. During his tenure at Harvard, Santayana had the privilege of teaching and mentoring some of the brightest minds of his time. Many of his students would go on to achieve great success, including Conrad Aiken, W. E. B. Dubois, T. S. Eliot, Robert Frost, Horace Collin, Walter Lippmann, and Gertrude Stein. Although not a student, Santayana formed a close friendship with poet Wallace Stevens. Throughout his life, Santayana's education and experiences shaped his philosophical perspective. 
His teachings emphasize the importance of self-reflection, critical thinking, and the pursuit of wisdom. Santayana believed that philosophy offered a guide for navigating the complexities of life and understanding the nature of morality. George Santayana, a renowned philosopher, spent the later years of his life in Europe, far away from his academic career at Harvard. After resigning from his position in 1912, Santayana embarked on a journey that would shape his philosophical ideas and provide him with financial stability. With the support of a legacy from his mother and the success of his novel, The Last Puritan, Santayana found himself financially comfortable. Living in various cities including Avila, Paris, and Oxford, Santayana eventually settled in Rome, where he spent the remainder of his days. Despite his disconnection from America, many of his visitors and correspondents were still Americans, including his assistant and eventual literary executor, Daniel Corey. Interestingly, Santayana provided financial assistance to writers like Bertrand Russell, even though they were in fundamental disagreement philosophically and politically. Santayana's time in Europe allowed him to write extensively on a wide range of subjects, including philosophy, literary criticism, politics, and the influence of religion on culture. While his technical philosophy may be difficult to comprehend, his other writings were accessible and filled with wit and humor. He also dabbled in poetry and plays, leaving behind a wealth of correspondence that was only published after his death. As an observer of American culture from a foreigner's perspective, Santayana shared similarities with Alexis de Tocqueville. Like his mentor William James, Santayana approached philosophy in a literary manner, blending intellectual ideas with artistic expression. His unique perspective and contributions earned him mentions in Ezra Pound's cultural references in The Cantos. Despite being an atheist, Santayana considered himself an aesthetic Catholic and found solace in the care of Catholic nuns during the last decade of his life in Rome. In 1941, he entered a hospital and convent run by the Little Company of Mary, where he was looked after by Irish sisters until his passing in September 1952. His burial posed a challenge as he did not wish to be buried in consecrated land. Eventually, the Spanish consulate in Rome arranged for his burial in the pantheon of the Obra Pia Española, located in the Campo Verano Cemetery. George Santayana's later life and philosophical contributions continue to inspire and provoke thought. His unique observations on various subjects offer valuable insights into understanding human nature, morality, and the complex relationship between religion and culture. As we grapple with these issues in our daily lives, Santayana's writings remind us to approach them with intellectual curiosity, wit, and an appreciation for the beauty of language. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.